Welcome to today's episode of At Least We Tried. Today, uh, we're going to sit here and talk about how Tony chat on stream and talk about some of the Turd Island drama, and Flatley is going to proceed to steal Pentatonix music videos and react to them. Yes, sir. And this is totally Lamp talking. This is Lamp. Lamp's still here with us. I'm Lamp. Lamp, <laughs> Lamp uh, pulled a Mama Max and, ch and changed his voice. Completely yes, <laughs> completely changed it. Yeah, it was, you know, it was important. It was important to me to realize who I was, you know, as a person, and I realized that the voice I had was not appropriate for this podcast. But now I'm here, so we're good. We're good. We're <laughs> Yo, so Babwick deleted his Discord. Oh, I yeah, saw that. Which, which Again, is a retarded, fucking retarded thing that he did. But Dude, he ruined Minecraft. Wait, oh, is that still happening? No, I don't think it is then. It's happening still. I just don't think he's doing the Spurg stuff anymore. I just don't understand why he deleted his fucking channel. He, okay, like, from my understanding, Discord. right, I think he's moving away from all the Spurg drama and trying to, like, go somewhere else with his content to grow. Obviously, being part of Spurg drama, you can only grow so much, right? So yeah. he has to move somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Could've and I think I think the... I think Leia could attest to that. Like, I mean, you also, also could have just ownership. gave me the ownership. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say. Wait, yeah. what's that? Like, I, I was like saying the Wall you... Smashers is like the Wall Smashers GC Hold is on. now in a different server. Um, everything is fucking like, like fucking Darcy spurging out in the void. Fucking Discord thing is gone, so we can't even a log that anymore. Uh. <laughs> But okay, no one, what no was, one what day was, like that. All right. What I was going to say, what I was saying, Aleo, was that uh, oh. with Badwick getting rid of his uh, Discord and giving off Turd Island to Flatley, mm -hmm. um, he's kind of moving away from the Spurg drama and trying to grow somewhere else on YouTube. And obviously, mm. with Spurg drama, you can only grow so far. Yep. Um. So he needs to move somewhere else. That's not this. And then I'm proud of him, and I'm actually super excited to see where he goes. Um. Sick. So, I yeah, you are right, Echo. Like I can attest to it. Um. Because I'm trying to take things into a different direction, where I'm trying not to, like, be like super duper part of the Spurg drama. I feel yeah. like, um. The Turd Island this last time was, like, really great, right? And Flatley did, like, a really good job. But it's, mm. like, the same characters fighting over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And, like, you... And, again, like, the, the you get numbers from Spurg drama, but you can only go so far. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. just every single time it's Spurg drama, it's about Darcy or Rev. And it's, like, these people... These two people are shitty people. Why are we even giving them the same energy? Like, why do we yeah. give them attention? Yeah, because it started getting, like, really fucking annoying when, like, it's like, oh, shit, actually, today we're updating the Darcy drama. We're going to talk about the Rev side. I'm like, I, I don't really give a fuck anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. I stopped caring after the last Turd Island ended, and that was, like, three weeks ago. Yeah. Like, why are we still talking about this? Why are they still litigating it? Why the fuck is Rev trying to, like, take a W on, like, stupid shit when it doesn't even matter anymore? Yeah. And, and then, the, like, this last Hurt Island with the Doug stuff where, like, Ember is just like, oh, my God, anybody that protects Doug is just, uh, or anybody that is defending Doug is protecting him because he's a retard. And it's just like, Ember, it's not that. It's just, like... People genuinely don't think Doug did, did anything wrong. And I criticized Doug in my um, live sh or in my video about Maggot, right? Yeah. And I get that Doug like doesn't want to be part of the drama, but mm. he is a content creator. Eventually, your content is going to lead to drama. And like Maggot joining in and calling into Turd Island and being like, well, the reason why he cut it out is because they were agreeing with me, and um, I know, like, if they agree with me, um, people are going to shit on them for agreeing with me. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's not even that. It's it's not because they agree with you or they, they still like you. Nobody is at that. Mm -hmm. Maggot, you're just a retard. You're just a loser. Like, that's why people don't like you. 
just because Doug is on your side or just because Lamp is on your side doesn't mean commentary is going to automatically hate them because um, they are on your side. So it's like, shut, shut up. You still don't even know what you're talking about. I think the worst part about it was that a lot of people, like, especially, like, at least on the stream, didn't really have that opinion. Like, that that part wasn't even supposed to be that long. It was just supposed to be, like, a quick thing because before the stream started, we were in a fucking call with Alpharus where he basically, like, fucking, like, leaks that fucking, um, what's it called, Lamp had the fucking recording on his second channel ready to upload and that Lamp was gonna, like, basically, like, post it soon. Mm. When which is, which wasn't even the fucking case. Lamp had it on his second channel, and they were gonna talk to Doug one more time. Say, hey, dude, let's just fucking just squash the drama, post it, and whatever the fuck happens, happens. It's better than just fucking getting like all this quote unquote harassment from it. Yeah, and it wasn't even supposed to be that long, but because fucking like um, not even just like not even just Ember and Flatly, but like the minute like that got brought up, everyone in chat wanted to fucking jump on and like debate that one thing when it wasn't even like that was like not even point one for a lot of us like mm -hmm. even like i didn't think like like yeah i thought it was gay at first like okay why would you announce it and then why is lamb flexing it like but you know they don't want to post it fuck it dude. i don't even care at this point anymore mm. like after i talked to lamb after we all talked to lamb i'm like okay then i don't really care because lamb doesn't care to post it no one doug's is not gonna fucking like bend over to post it like there's no point of even talking about this anymore and yeah. the fact that he kept getting dragged back up it was like kind of annoying because i didn't care about it yeah and i think a lot of okay like a lot of our arguments in the in turd island especially us that were kind of being more critical of doug not was not because of the clip and i, I kept saying this over and over again but it kept being brought up that like me echo flatly and ember i mean i flatly and Ember I already told them they went way too hard about the clip i thought the clip was a gay point to be on right but I think it got muddied because every person that tried to argue with us was clump lumping all of our opinions together or lumping whatever they thought was our opinion and then, like, yep. spewing it and then, like, trying to argue with us. But you're just like, you're not understanding what we're criticizing him for. It's not because of the fucking clip <laughs> or in him not releasing the clip because I don't care about that. Who invited yep. Darcy to the server? That was uh -huh. random, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what server? This, this server. server. How well, about they, like well, they come into the it. server? Ignore they just, yeah. <laughs> just, just just ignore it. This He's like, dead. but this is exactly what I'm talking about. I literally don't care about Darcy. Like, yeah. why? Yeah. <sighs> Can I add something to the Doug conversation? Because I actually yeah. listened to the Turd Island today at work. I think. The big thing that was said that not a lot of people focused on was uh, Maggot is here. We should be questioning Maggot. And then Maggot ran. Yeah. Maggot is the center of the problem, not Doug. And yes. Doug, Doug's just a casualty of that because of what happened. I mean. Well, and Matt. Oh, you. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. That, that was me saying. I mean, that was the end of my sentence. I'm just retarded. And but you <laughs> make a good point because it's just like Maggot's willing, like. She, more, she's more than happy to allow Doug to be the casualty. Like she's, she joined the call and she's like, Doug, 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 is there anything else you want to say? And then like when assistant sailor comes in and wants to ask questions, she's already gone. So it's like, yeah. maggot, why don't you call back? You're watching turd Island. You're literally watching right now. Why don't yeah. you just call back? And no, can't do that can't do that i can't take any kind of ounce of accountability whatsoever instead i'll just put a little tipster and just block people i don't understand it i mean the biggest thing that i've noticed from what i've picked up and i could be wrong but from what people have told me and the streams i've been listening back to is that people say something stupid they don't want to take accountability for saying something stupid when they get clowned on they double down on it and then when people genuinely start really criticizing them, they play the victim. <laughs> Am I yeah. wrong? Is that what's recently happened with Maggot and D-Max and all of them? To an extent, yeah, okay. I would say so. I think they, they see, like, the community quote-unquote backlash on them as, like, being personal. When it wasn't really personal at first. It was, hey, why are you guys acting like assholes about this when, realistically speaking, like, just give your... T like. Like even I like I made a post about it, but I wasn't being an asshole, fucking like like digging at fucking Magnetar. 
Like I wasn't like constantly going on. I'm like, hey, this is why I don't trust. This is why I have the opinion that I do. And I just thoroughly explained it. That was it. But they were yeah, like, right. he was giving them answers and they just kept doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down. And then at the end of it, they're like, oh, why are you guys taking this so seriously? It's not that big a deal. This and that. It's like, okay, you guys made it the big deal. And now you guys don't want to want to wash it from your hands. That, like, that was like mostly it. Yeah, I And it, realistically, they could have. Well, the thing is, realistically speaking, like if they would have just took it. Hey, you know, yeah, we we fucking jumped the gun. We, yeah, we were acting like ass. We thought we, this guy was a scammer. We treated him like a scammer and that wasn't okay. But, you know, that's the end of the story. Boom. They don't even really need to apologize. They just admit that they were fucking wrong about it. And the, the drama yeah. would be over in, like, fucking a few days. That was it. I think what yeah. happened was is that... I'm gonna be real. This is gonna sound so so bad what I say. is that that Discord that they're in is kind of just like an echo chamber. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. when they yep. double mm-hmm. down... They they got recertified by what everyone was saying in the Discord, and then yep. when they doubled down, it was a for sure thing. Like, oh okay, now everyone else outside of that bubble is critical of it, so now they they can't really go back. You got your tail between your legs. It's, it's embarrassing, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. pretty sure they know they're wrong now, and it was just it'd be more uh, maybe in their eyes, it's more embarrassing to admit that they were wrong than it is to just not talk about it and go away. I don't think but they it's... think they're wrong. I think they think they don't like they're they don't care if they're wrong or not. They just care about the reaction at this point. It's weird that like if they do think that they're wrong, and I'm more on echo of tragedy side on that one. But just to play into what what you're saying, Flatly. Oh my god, so <laughs> sorry. We're <laughs> on what you're um what you're uh what you're saying, Flatly. Let's say they realize that they're wrong, right? And they know that they're wrong. And they don't want to admit that they're wrong. Maggot took it like one step further and was just like, hey, guys, more than happy to say like I'm wrong. I I can admit when I'm wrong. Mm. And it's like, no, you don't. Even if you even acknowledge that you were wrong, you still have the inability to do it. She was yeah. uh, more focused on an apology, like saying things like uh, uh, a forced apology is not a real apology, so I'm not going to apologize, which I, I can respect, but I just want to and the thing is, she, she doesn't have to apologize. All she has to say is, hey, yeah, you know, I fucked up. We fucked up. We all jumped the gun and we fucking shouldn't have done that. That's all we got to say, realistically speaking. Like, like when the when the Milltown stuff happened, right, and Milltown decided to defend Dove um a, against all the shit that Dove was doing, right? And mm-hmm. Milltown went into Peepaw's live stream and got ridiculed. What did Peepaw say? I don't know. I don't remember. You got to be able remember. to take you have to be able to take your lashings. You got to be able to take take your lumps. He's even yeah. said it about like the Liana Taylor situation. And it's like he can't even do that. Oh, okay, yeah, the Aussie Liana stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like he literally you, told her that too. And she did exactly what she should have done. Like she apologized literally like right away as when she realized she was wrong. Yeah. It's like you fuckers, y'all are saying you got to be able to take your lumps. You got to be able to take your lashings. Maggot has been more than happy to go around and make sure Angry Slug is held accountable for all the shit that he's done, but she can't do it to her own standards. Or no. she or she goes and aligns herself with Hugin. And Hugin's done a lot more worse stuff than what Angry Slug has done. True. Way worse. It, Hugin has threatened to dox my parents, all because I kept a video up about him. So it's like, uh, he, Maggot, what are you doing here? Like, you are totally backtracking from your principles. I'm happy we made up with Doug, though. Oh, uh, like I don't tragedy. know. <laughs> what? What's up with that? Wait, what? Do you what? are you and Doug like? Do they, you guys like not like each other or something? I'm done with him completely. I told oh, him the oh. last time he came in to fucking fight for no fucking reason. I'm just chilling in a fucking server. Actually, I, no, no. Let me rephrase that. I wasn't just chilling in a server. Badwick and Echo told me to join join the fucking VC so that they can tell me about something. And then I guess something came up when they joined. So when everyone joined that the VC, I was waiting for them to come back. Because they were like, I don't, it was regarding the Ember stuff. I have no idea what they wanted to talk about. And I never found out what they wanted to talk about. But then, you know, everyone starts talking about Ember. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm eating spaghetti. 
I'm gonna go get fucking like just, just get something to drink real quick, you know, just fucking mm-hmm. chilling, eating spaghetti. Mm-hmm. And so Doug keeps trying to talk to me, and I'm not, I don't, I don't like Doug, so I'm just ignoring him because I'm not gonna try to start shit. Everyone in the server is just trying to chill. I don't really care. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, I think Rick joins, and I guess Doug gets kind of ballsy about it. So then he starts coming at me, like asking me questions, and it's getting to the point where it's like, okay, wait why are you doing this? Like, this makes no sense to do. Because he's tried, like, oh, I, like, I don't want to start a problem, but I'm like, Doug, I just want nothing to do with you. Like, it, that's literally it. That's all. I want. I just want nothing to do with you. I don't really care what you have to say right now. Mm, I, said yeah. it, I said it as calm as possible because I'm not trying to start shit. And it, it's already going to get awkward after I say that. So I'm like, you know what? I just don't want to talk to you at all. Like, not telling him to leave. Not saying I'm going to leave. I'm trying to make it awkward. And he just gets, starts getting mad saying that, um, like I'm an asshole, and then he starts bringing up um, the fucking burn stuff. When like I was trying to tell, I explained to him like I'm not, I wasn't saying it because I was using it as ammo on you. I wasn't weaponizing it. And then Brick actually explained like, oh no, Cathonic said there was a pattern behavior. I asked what, and then Echo explained it. Doug like this not not he wasn't weaponizing it against you. He was explaining what I was asking. And then Brick ended up leaving, and then that's when Doug started going a little crazier. He started uh, fucking just like started yelling at me, saying I was a liar, I'm a manipulator, I spread false information, like just like full fucking like schizo yelling. And I'm just telling him, like, dude, why are you fucking acting unhinged? I'm answering questions, and it gets to the point where like, where he's fighting over the fact that he thinks I don't like him because he unfriended me, but it had mm-hmm. nothing to do with that, and he knew that, and he's like trying to frame it that I'm like attacking him. And I'm like, bro, you're yelling at me, like I don't know why you're acting like this. Like, I have no idea where you're acting hinge for. Like, it's like the most bare bone shit. I don't care. I just don't want to talk to you. And then he fucking rage quit. And it's like, like, I did nothing. Like, we were in a server last night. I just muted him because I'm not going to fight with him in a fucking public server. It's not my fucking server. It's not my space. I'm not fucking going around, like, arguing with people for no fucking reason. So, and I'd rather so, just not have him fucking unmuted. So, like, you, because the Turd Island was all about Doug y'all were like y'all were like really pissed off at at Doug right yeah yeah because so like what my understanding of it so mind you I was moving last week right so I'm not in the loop of anything I don't know what shit's going on in my server I don't know what's happening in group chats I don't know what's happening as far as bigger commentator drama and drama in general I come Mm. back day of turd island and I am just getting looped in on everything. Mm-hmm. And I hear Doug had another freak out. So I'm sitting here like, oh my God, dude. He just pulled the same shit I just talked to him about with the burn stuff again. And th- this is a pattern behavior I'm starting to see. I don't like it. I'm going to call him out on his bullshit because yeah. this isn't okay. Acting like I, I get like, you know. Hey, things can be overwhelming and stuff like that. And, but with the burn stuff, it was total, totally out of left field, right? It was totally something that shouldn't have even been a thing. And he shouldn't have been yelling at burn the way he had and like come onto his stream to completely derail it because he wants to yell at burn. Mm. When he's arguably said something that was worse to burn than burn did. You know, and I'm not going to bring that up because I don't want to rehash that again. Mm. But it, it's just like, I saw it from that perspective until I talked to him and I understood what where he was coming from a little bit. Um, then I was a little bit more understanding of why he freaked out. But from my understanding, he freaked out over nothing again, and that's why I was upset. And I was like, "This isn't this isn't cool." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my question is: um, is when, when, when do you decide that it's not okay for Doug to freak out, and when is it generally okay and funny? Because for me, every time I've seen Doug freak out, I just laugh. And then well, he always apologizes, and I'm like, nah, it's funny. You look dumb, not me. I'm not well, mad I at think, you, but... I think it's the fact that he he uh, uh, he doesn't... It seems like he doesn't want to take the criticism sometimes. I don't know. It, it, it comes off very weird when he's, he's rolling in the mud but doesn't want to... Um, get dirty. Yeah, get dirty. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice I'm just saying, for me in the past, there, there was a time where him and Skelly were yelling in a VC... I was just trying to hang out with Burn and a few people, and they're screaming at each other. And I said, both of you, just shut the fuck up, for the love of God. And Doug got really mad at me, sent me a lot of messages telling me how mad he was. 
And all I said was, <laughs> lol, okay, and shit like that. And the next day he's apologizing. He's like, I hope you're not mad. No, I'm not mad. I mean, you that's that's, like that's the secondary company. part of it. It's like the minute that I stop responding to him in DMs, he starts going to other people, like basically saying that, like, I tried bullying him on Turd Island. And Who it's like, Who cares? Yeah. That was yeah, no, I don't care, thing. but it's the, I care when they start bringing it up, like, hey, could you please not fight with Doug in my server? Like, I know, like, I know you said you're not going to have anything to do with them, but could you just not oh. engage with them? Like, I didn't, I don't, I don't engage with people I don't like unless I fucking have to. That's literally it. If I, if someone's like, I've been in service with people, like, I've had to be in fucking called with fucking slug when I used to fucking hate his guts and I would just mm -hmm. be fucking silent. Like, mm -hmm. I just hate that I fucking always have to get asked, like, why did you do to Doug? What did you do to Doug? Why is Doug calling you a liar? Why is Doug saying you bullied him? Why is Doug saying this? Why is Doug saying that? And just getting annoying. That's why I just want nothing to do with them. Because if I have nothing to do with them, there's nothing that fucking could be said. And I just don't want to deal with it. I have fucking work. I have fucking shit going on. I just don't want to deal with some fucking retard on fucking line that's getting mad because I just told him not to do something. In so, like, the least way possible. So the main point is, is that, like, you... Y'all's reasons for being mad at Doug was definitely different from like a stupid segment that was cut out from a live stream. Yes. Yeah, I even defended it Doug was on that. Like we defended was, Doug behind the scenes too. It I was, was different. I was mad about the segment until it was explained to me, and then I was mad about the reaction of it and the way they handled it, and then the way it was, the way it was brought about. Okay. Because I directly attacked him. I called him a pussy for not putting the segment in there, and then like he completely yeah. like. He cried about it and everything like that. That 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 made me, that actually made me like ten times more angry. I didn't care about the segment anymore at that point because then him okay. and Alpha Russ and all of them started coming after me, and I'm like, is he like completely devoid of criticism? But I already explained that with Doug, and we we hashed that shit out. I told him I really didn't care about the segment. I was just upset with the way he handled it, and then he he admitted it. he's like, oh well, I'm so, sorry. So it's it's not that he's void of criticism, like because I had this conversation with Echo and Ember Lily. Um, the day before Turd Island, and I at the end of the conversation, I figured out which, what, who has, who has an, why they have an issue with Doug, who has an issue with Doug. Echo gave his reasons. Ember gave her reasons. Although I think Ember's reasons are just dumb, and she's just like she has like <laughs> this personal vendetta that she has against commentary, right? For what happened with her in the past, and it's just like move the fuck on but she's that's another topic she's not going to but anyways mm. she has personal reasons as to why she wants to harp on doug and then she goes around and says oh you know anybody defending doug is just like defending him because he's he's um he is neurodivergent and that's that's ableistic that you're doing that and it's like no it's not oh, it's yeah. not because of that it's because people care really do truly care about doug and if mm. people really do genuinely think you're going too hard for doug then you're going too hard for doug and i warned ember lily and i told her you are going too hard for doug echo echo didn't need to be warned because echo had his own reasons as to why he was upset with doug he's tried to have like a relationship with doug and it didn't work and burn burn has his reasons as to why he why he uh, had an issue. He doesn't seem to have an issue with Doug anymore. I don't. Yeah, yeah. me and Doug have hashed that out. You know, he but, admitted what he said to me about my situation with my personal life was fucked up. He admitted that he didn't really mean it in that way, but he understands why I got a little bit fucking pissed. Yeah. But Ember, like, just keeps harping and keeps harping. And now the harping is progressing to... Oh, uh, commentary bad. And it's like, bitch, you're like more than happy, to, happy to fucking participate in these commentary live streams. You're more than happy to call in and you're more than happy to fight with people within commentary. So it's like, if commentary is so toxic, if we're so misogynistic and it's just so bad, then she even took it to the point where she like wants to use Jessica Pizzle's situation against commentary. And it's like, if we're so bad, then why are you part of it? Why do you continue to put yourself through this? Why do you continue to interact with Angry Slug? Why do you continue to participate on Turd Island? Mm. It's it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, and I it, it's not that like people are protecting Doug. Like Doug is, Doug is ha We're more than happy to criticize Doug. At mm. the end of the day, I I think a lot but of it, people aren't. But if. 
a, you think a lot of people are not? No, because this is the same thing. Like, I feel like Doug's kind of going through like the same kind of drama that Huggy was going through. The only difference is like Huggy didn't really have like relationships where he was like those are the people that he's sticking with forever. He would oh. want to bounce back and forth between two groups where Doug has his group. So whenever Doug has a problem with someone in the community, he goes back to that group and like basically cries to them about everybody. Those are like the people he's sticking around. Like it's it's the same word where, where like if Doug didn't have friends and he was doing the same shit he was doing, everyone would take their turn to dunk on him the way they hung dunk on Huggy. Like I see Doug and Huggy as like the same level of like fucking like emotional fucking uh growth. Like they're they're very stunted, they get very upset over like small things. And they do get overly mm-hmm. irrational when, in like, when it comes to like getting any kind of criticism they don't like. Yeah. The only difference is people like Doug. Like, even I've said this. Like, the reason why I was okay with Doug before is because Doug would check on me when shit was going bad. Like, when during the fucking all the fucking slug stuff, he was one of the people that checked on me to make sure I was good. And I do appreciate that still. That was just different thing between him and Huggy. Huggy's all about himself. Doug does care about other people, but unless they push back on him in a way he doesn't like. Yeah, and so like those people will never see that bad side of Doug because those are his people. That's like the biggest difference between him and Huggy, and why I think D- the way Doug is acting will never change it because he has like a pe- a bunch of people that will always reinforce that. No, don't worry, Doug. Like you did nothing wrong. Like oh, I know Doug is annoying, but you guys don't understand. Oh, okay, maybe Doug said something, but you just don't understand what he meant. And it's like always just like adding layer and layer and layer on why Doug did nothing wrong. Yeah. Oh, they make okay. excuses for it. Uh, so let's talk about the aftermath of Turd Island. So, like, what what happened? Like, <laughs> Aunt, I saw Ant's post where Ant was like, "Yo, my co-hosts were like fighting with each other." Yeah. Lamp Bird, left the show. Bro, what I, what happened? Oh, here, I, I, here, I, right I went now. to bed. I went to bed and I was drunk and I woke up and I found everyone fucking just at each other's throat. I was like, "What the fuck happened? Why does this always happen when I'm drunk?" Yeah, <laughs> I'm Lamp. I'm here right now. And by the way, I am releasing. Footage in the year 2026. The footage will come out in 2026. I lamp have the footage, so it's okay. There you go. Well, all seriousness. So after after Turd Island last night, and if you guys haven't go haven't seen it, I highly suggest you do. It was really entertaining. Well, not mm-hmm. really entertaining night, but um, mm-hmm. Lamp decided it was in his best interest to leave the podcast right. due to the. Uh, I guess the unprofessionalism of Flatley, or even maybe yeah. us. He didn't really specify. He said mainly Flatley, but um, uh, I think he, he said it like, was like the manner because I talked to him the next morning yeah. about it. I did and too. It was like the manner in which it was brought up, because mm. like it does suck that it happened so close to Turd Island starting, and then the whole Tony thing happened that we kind of mm. just oh shit! Like even I didn't know that the the fucking Doug clip stuff was gonna get brought up because I wasn't told what was gonna happen before. Only thing I knew it was going to be in Turd Island was Tony because well, Tony was freaking out over twenty dollars. I totally <laughs> forgot I was doing Turd Island until like an hour before the show. When oh I yeah, the yeah, because I with you guys, I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah. So I wanted to scramble and get stories together. I didn't update everybody on the stories I was putting together. But I went home. Yeah, and so there was... I locked in, bro. I had a fucking. I should have should have messaged Lamp though. But the one thing I didn't understand. Maybe I'm just not reading into it rightly or correctly. Excuse me. What the fuck? I can't speak English. He said, mm. I didn't respect your professionalism mm. on Turd Island. And my first red flag was, well, it's Turd Island. There's no professionalism. But then he also said that it was um, just spur drama. It's not that big a deal. I mean, we're cool. I never really understood that. But I, I kind of just, I don't know if someone could explain that better than me. Um, I guess, like, the best way to explain it is, like, kind of like the way Badwick runs this island. Where if someone's going to be the topic of, like, of the stream, he'll give them, like, a huge heads up in case they either want to get, like, a statement in, want to come into the stream, or they have the ability to deny it before anyone, like, oh, well, why are they not here? Why this and that? And the thing is because of how, like, how sloppily mm-hmm. it was kind of handled because, like, again, you didn't, you totally forgot you had to do it. Even, I don't even think Badwick, like, reminded anyone that you're grabbing it because people were asking me. Oh, so no Turd Island this week? I'm like, no, Flatley's doing it. They're like, oh, like I had no idea. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure Badwick said it, but I guess maybe he just said it Badwick on that episode and he never up. reminded it. So, like, just the fact that, you know, it was kind of sloppily handed, well, you know, on multiple different fronts. And it does come off like, okay, well, it seemed like you kind of had the way it shockened out with, you know, right after the Tony stuff, we went straight into it and you kind of already had your points. It does come off like, oh shit, like 
he could have had this and then didn't give fucking Lamp a heads up when, like I explained earlier, it was literally something that happened right before the Turd Island happened. So it was like we were already arguing about it. We already had all the points set up because we had just argued it with another person and we were able to like articulate it perfectly. And then on Turd Island, it just came off like a complete smear campaign. Yeah. Not just because of like the way it came up, but also the way it was handled and the way people were handled when they were in there, the muting, the kicking, yeah, all that so fucking like Lamp, crazy bullshit. Lamp had no idea we were in that other VC though. Yeah, so exactly. He's like, this is another POV, part of it. It was that... just like, wow, this is literally out of nowhere. I could, I understand it. All right. Yeah, especially because uh, it, it happened also right after the fucking, um, what's it called? It happened, that happened the day after we had already talked to him about it. And then we find out more information that turned out to not even be like fully true because Lamp was never like Lamp was never going to go behind Doug's back to post it. I don't know why Alpharus phrased it that way. I don't know why he said like, oh yeah, well Lamp's dropping on his other channel, and it's like, well he told us he wasn't. And he goes, well yeah, he said he was, and I'm like, well what the fuck is that? Like why the fuck is your co-host arguing with us and then t giving us like a fucking like quote unquote like scoop on what's going to happen? It made absolutely mm -hmm. no fucking sense. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the muting Weird. that night was fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah. That was Dan good. getting I, muted. Dan getting muted fault. alone about fifteen times, dude. Who muted Dan? Lamp showed me all the logs and it seemed like it was a multiple amount of people, but it was it seemed like it was Ember the most. Right. I think uh, from my understanding, I just want to like have her two cents on it. She was trying to meet Brick. From what she's told me, she was trying to meet Brick mostly. So, mm. does Ember have an excuse for muting Sailor on on Turd Island? If we forgot about, I didn't know you muted Sailor. She, she did. She muted yeah. Sailor because she didn't like what he was saying. Oh, right there. She, the even, end, right? she even kicked leader. him from the call. She even kicked him oh, from really? the call yeah. when, when yeah. people found it entertaining. That's kind of pathetic. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Can we yeah. talk about how gay it really is for people just to, whenever they don't want to hear criticism, they just kick people or mute people? They abuse yeah, I'm power. sorry, Joe. You're like, getting timed out. What? I'm not gonna lie. So I've muted a couple people on Turd Island, but I really wanted to focus on what other people were arguing about. So I tend to like yeah. just mute other people. Well, you're the host. That's um, okay. You're the host. But yeah. if you're not the host, but I mean, Badwick even said in my chat, issue was, if you're not this that, person or this person, stop. <laughs> my issue is that when someone's like, they start, they start beefing with each other, and and it's like maybe like. I'll write, like, let's say Brick. Brick will spur against Ember, and then when Ember's done with Brick, she'll just fucking kick him, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or it's like, um, the Mega Edits was mod or some shit like that. They would just, they would just kick him. Just fucking... Yeah, that stuff is stupid. I think it's, I think it's annoying. I'm like, why, There is why one exception to that like rule. To kick him? There's one exception yeah. to that rule, and that's Tony, and that's because if you don't mute him, you will never get a word in edgewise. Yeah. The, the guy yeah. will scream and rant until the end of time. So you have to. But anybody else, no. Either go up against it or just leave. You don't and have like, to. Okay, like maybe power. Brick sometimes, but not on that episode. Like, there was no. no reason to ever mute Brick during that. Brick was on fire that episode. Like, oh, I thought he was going to, I thought he was going to make jokes and everything, but he was like genuinely heated and making valid points. I was like, Fuck. He, he went from I mean, one like, subject to the this, next. <laughs> I told yeah, this was... to Dan this morning when he was going to Ember, like, irrational. I told him, like, dude, I understand you're mad, like, your friend, like, because your friend's upset and all. But, like, the manner in which you're going about it, like, at least, like, Brick, like, Brick was mad, but he wasn't going at it, like, maliciously. He was actually trying to engage the entire point. Whereas, like, yeah. today Dan didn't, like, he just, Dan would just want to throw shit and not understand why no one wanted to be around the guy who was going to throw shit right. that it was just uncalled for. Oh, Dan's yeah. not the best debater. Dan is not the best debater at all. I can say something that I know will piss him off and listen to him hound and hound and hound. And I'm like, you know, I said that just to make you mad, right? I just wanted to see. <laughs> He's not very good at it. <laughs> I love Lamp's new accent. Yeah, you know, growing up in the South here, me, Lamp, hello. Yeah, on the Gulf Coast. Uh, I could say uh, I love it here. It's me, Lamp. Oh. My name is Lamp, by the way. You think Lamp makes okay, a return? Okay, buddy. Probably not. Sad. Sad. I feel like give him time. Oh, Badwick got rid of Turd Island. What do we? What do we think about that? He got rid of Turd Island. He gave it all to me. 
I congratulations. I think it's the same type of thing I was saying before with like um you can't really uh move far with Spurg drama. And I think he's just wiping his hands of it and moving on to something better. Spurg? So like but he's still doing sorry. wall smashers though, which is arguably just Spurg drama, you know what I mean? So, and Echo. Yeah. So like Spurg drama. Spurg drama is still good to cover. Like it's it's still great to have Spurg drama. But um eventually like as like uh this was an issue that I hit with my channel where I covered a lot of Spurg drama and I got a lot of views off of like most of my commentary stuff, right? And then there it mm -hmm. took it it got to a point where like I would start to cover normal topics and I hit this road with Vin the, my Vince McMahon coverage where I was just not getting the viewership that I normally got on my live streams because I was covering a non commentary topic and, and it, it wasn't just for drama or it wasn't uh. just, yeah, whatever. So anyways, um, eventually you as like a, cre a a creator you you start to see the picture where it's like okay my channel isn't growing because i'm just covering spur drama and it's a it's a very niche topic let's expand into other topics and see where the channel goes and i think i think uh badwick is in that position where he's like okay let's see where else i can go segue into and grow yeah. my channel so i i think he, I the mean, tur turd island like i'm not, I'm not gonna say turd island's like completely bad and mm -hmm. it should not be what turd island's good i love watching turd island it's great the spurg drama is great it's awesome to get into blood sports and stuff and i think turd island's like a good platform to like go in and fucking air out your fucking grievances with somebody that you have an issue with mm -hmm. right um, but it's always at the same time important to move into bigger and better things. Yeah, but I mean that was something I was talking to Badwick about in uh and a, a call we had where like, cause like with my channel, I I've started focusing on like spur drama a little bit more recently, but most of my subscribers are off of focusing on bigger commentary stuff, bigger topics, and yeah. doing videos. And I've kind of strayed away from that, and I've seen my growth kind of slow down a little bit. So I, I, just, I know I need to focus more on making the bigger my my yeah. my videos again, focusing on bigger topics. But I also want to have like my the pit streams, and where we're having spur spur outs, people are freaking out, each other, freaking out, yada yada yada. Because I like yeah. it, but I it, it's also <laughs> managing both. You know what I mean? Trying to focus on big things while also having these streams that. Focus on the smaller guys and the smaller uh, the stuff that's happening in the smaller part of commentary. Honestly, like the, my new format that I that I am doing, where I'm doing like once a week live streams, and it's like several yeah. topics, and one of the topics is commentary related. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you like cut those segments up into like a video, and yeah. then put put the videos out. That format works well. Like if flatly, like if you do like Turd Island and then do like your other stuff, you'll be you'll be completely fine. I don't think Turd Island should just go completely away, no. and I really hope it like doesn't because I absolutely enjoy watching uh, Turd Island. Mm -hmm. I could see how hosting something like Turd Island though constantly could be exhausting at the same time. Yeah. Like, how many times can you hear people scream at each other week after week after week before you go? I you know the what? same thing too. <laughs> I didn't need a break for a few months. I'm tired of doing this. You know, it's the same people arguing the same thing. Like it's just yeah. the same. Like they constantly repeat. And so like after a while, I like I don't say anything on Turd Island because I get fucking bored. I mean, I just get tired of it after a while. That's why I don't cover drama anymore i cover like bigger commentary stuff one because it helps my channel so much more but uh it's just uh i don't know it's just easier to tackle like i've been covering like all the minecraft shit that's been going on it's been helping my channel magically so oh, yeah. i think yeah. covering bigger shit is a lot is a lot a lot better i think it's a lot more fun overall than spurg stuff i i i'll cover like a small spurg like i think my most recent like lowest viewed anthill one is me covering colton so yeah. i mean like 
and then my biggest ones are like the Vosh and Vosh and Wilbur Soot and fucking Mama Max stuff. So it's like, oh, and also the Savannah Marie one. So it's like, I, that's why I cover bigger stuff. I look for bigger things than just fucking Darcy Evans spurging again or lying <laughs> again or some shit like that. Like I'm so I'm so sick of the Darcy Evans stuff. I'm so tired of it. We all are. <laughs> I mean, like the. The more we give them attention, the the worse it gets. Like we didn't mm. do this shit with like why so demented, and we didn't do it with mm. Ghosty, and it's like why are we doing it with Darcy? Well, yeah. I think the problem is that back then, during like all the Ghosty like why so demented stuff, the amount of people like creating content around the sphere, at least like on the bottom parts over here, like was like realistically like what like maybe Chaos started after all that, and then you started a little bit after. Like, there yeah. was really no one that would have even covered that. And Badwick wasn't even really covering too much stuff on this side anyway. Like, yeah. there wasn't, like, a community to fucking, like, try to get dunks on people. That's what Turd Island's kind of turned into. Yeah. Like, all the Spurgs realized, wait, we don't have to be the retards on the stream. We could be dunking on the other people because it's such an easy thing to do. And that's why every single person and their mom wants to come on and give the same rev take that everyone heard, like, 90 times before. That's why if you've ever heard me on Turd Island recently, like, I'm going, like, completely unhinged because i just don't give a fuck about like what anyone else has to say only opinion i care about is mine like everyone can else can say the same thing that everyone else is saying like what my stuff with tony i think tony should fucking do something that he probably shouldn't do yeah but <laughs> that's just my opinion like I've, I've gotten to the point where i'm starting to like regress to like being a dick and i think it's part of it because of turd island and i'm trying to back away from that that's the whole thing why i didn't want to blow up a thing with doug that's the whole thing why i'm trying not to like actively go at people because i don't want to be a dick there's no yeah. reason to be a dick right so uh speaking of tony uh supposedly he shat on a live stream <laughs> what the oh. fuck happened oh boy 58 podcast um second best podcast after joe rogan of course no i'm kidding uh so yeah fuck y'all <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding obviously um Tony is a character, and uh, yeah. I've, been, I've been on the past few 58 podcasts just trying to get different things out of him. Uh, yeah. we, got, we got him saying the infamous line, what is pedophile, why is that illegal? Which is yeah. one of my favorite Tony clips ever. Last night, he goes into this rant about how he's got it, like, we're, we're grilling him, basically, about him asking small PP for money, saying he needed fuel, but he didn't, he wasn't going to spend the money completely on that, and small PP had a he, feeling. He was going to funge the money. Fungibility. Yes. yes. Yep. And that was the first part of Turd Island, if anybody remembers, was everybody basically telling him... It was my favorite part. You're a mooch. It was my favorite part, too. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, it, Tony got really mad, mm. uh, and so we grilled him about it last night, even after Turd Island, and eventually he just starts going like, bro, I'm about to shit myself. What? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> yeah, like, what does this have to do with anything? We're, 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 what are you talking about? And so he goes back to getting grilled and arguing with us, and we think, oh, you know, it's it's no big deal. It's whatever. And then he, he starts like, <laughs> oh, I'm about to shit myself right here. And he's grunting and groaning, and we're still <laughs> grilling him. And then eventually he's just, like, responding to us, and he's going like, oh, I don't know, man. Oh. You're all a bunch of scumbag snakes. And Ember starts laughing. And <laughs> we're all confused because I thought he had taken a shit by then. I thought maybe his butt cheeks were still flapping. The man was just hurt after that shit. Yeah. And Ember goes, you need to stop grilling this guy while he's taking a shit. And everybody yeah. starts laughing. And then I go, wait, Tony, are you actually on the toilet right now? He goes, bro, yes, I'm taking a shit, man. Ew. No, and, and then uh, I asked him later. I said, "He said uh, I have honor." I said, "There is no honor in shitting live on stream while arguing with people." <laughs> he said, "Nah, bro. If I hadn't done it, we wouldn't have had the content." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brain dead. <laughs> you guys gotta stop carrying around this fucking schizophrenic motherfucker. I, <laughs> I mean, I pissed off Joe last night. Bring it up to fucking ass. Wait, you pissed chart. on Joe and fucking Tony shat himself. Right? Pissed yeah, he, off he, Joe, bro. <laughs> He pissed me off bad. <laughs> yeah, I brought up some PTSD from the Actually, I past. brought it up first. I was the one that posted it in side chat and got the the pot flowing, all right? Yeah, you got the pot flowing, but, like, Tony didn't care until I said something. Yeah. 
How many times <laughs> did I warn you guys, though? I said, no, he will go into a fucking rant. No, but, th Joe, the first time you said, I don't, I, 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 could, I can't really explain it. I don't know how to explain it. The 20 minutes later, I ask him again just to spite you. And then he starts going into it. So it's like this guy just had to like think about his lies before he could explain it to us. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that uh fucking Tony letters my equals that. numbers, which goes to names and it correlates with emojis. Uh totally not schizophrenic. Uh I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're one hundred percent a terrible person for that one. Because even small PP told you no. He said, No, please, for the love of God, don't uh, No, I need to do it anyway. I like to induce PTSD moments, okay? <laughs> what? That's just who <laughs> I am. Sociopath. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Tony is now my favorite person because uh, he hates my guts so much despite the fact that I am not on his 14-part list of people he hates. Yeah. Which is what we went over. We went over like his entire list of hate of all the people that he hates and we put it as like lower on the list the less you hate the less he hates to make yeah, so it more he, funny. So he hates Slug more than he hates Kim Jong Un. He hates Echo more than he hates Trump. <laughs> And Hitler, bro. And Hitler. <laughs> Big I can't believe he hates Skelly Hitler. more than me, though. By one. That makes Zerka sense. is the number one most hated person. He hates Zerka. <laughs> uh, Tony is the gift that keeps on giving. I'll tell you that. He is, uh... He can be infuriating, but the next day you wake up, you're like, I cannot wait to hear Tony chimp out again. <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right. Was there any anything else that we wanted to talk about? I don't know. Um, this the fallout, bro. Like, are we ever gonna be the same? We yeah, I think we will. <laughs> no, I, I yeah, think I think we'll be the same. I think it's gonna take. I think it's gonna take a little bit of time. You know, like there's so many bridges that have been like broken and mended over the fucking time. I mean, Leia, if your situation with Badwick, I heard the bridge has been mended. You know, uh, even though yeah. on, even though on even though on Catholic stream, you said that Badwick, he he's he's dead to me, just like Rev. Rev, now you're dead to me. All these fuckers are dead to me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So so, so Rev is actually dead to me. Like I don't. That guy is fucking, he's nuts. He's done. Like, you're, you're crazy. Go get your six gate. Right. But, go, be, go, yeah. go be a hobo on, uh, at the, uh, at a stoplight for all I care. Like, go get yeah. your financials straightened out. But the point so is, Rev is, is that... Rev is done, but Badwick, yeah. But the point and... is that bridges always can be remended, like, mended again. Just, it's going to oh, take yeah. time. I mean, Echo Tragedy, maybe you'll remember. Fuck it. that. No, hell never. no, dude. Any all bridges right, from this point getting burned are done. All right. Don't come back. I have more friends to talk to. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, time, I think, time heals. Yeah. I think Unless time you're time a woman. Heals. Unless you're a woman. You're right. Dog, time heals. Dog, dog go trans. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, when I burnt the bridge with Badwick, like, a week later, I was just like, I miss that little fart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, what now? Oh, my God. But, yeah. Well, the Minecraft thing is still happening, right? Dude. Oh, shit. The Friday. Friday's the Minecraft thing. Yeah. I don't yes. know. Okay. Before we end out, um, yes, we're going to be on the 15th of if this comes out before or after. I don't it'll, know. It'll come out. Uh, Probably the day before. All right. Well, if this episode comes out tomorrow, we'll be playing Minecraft Hardcore Survival tomorrow. Uh, come catch us tomorrow, yeah, not Friday, was... smart head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so no, during the, the recording, you fucking retard. retard. <laughs> he's like, All right, Jesus so if this Christ. comes out, he's like, this comes out tomorrow, then tomorrow we will be playing the Minecraft. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Today's uh, tomorrow for us. It's yes, for yeah, that. exactly. And we're making this confusing, all right? <laughs> I made tomorrow it tomorrow is two days for us. You follow All right, so the, the 15th. <laughs> The fifteenth, we will be playing Minecraft with a bunch of retards, <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can beat the dragon. All right. Yeah. Okay. My bet's that uh, half of us are gonna die before we ever find anything. I'm gonna uh, kill Echo. That's my goal. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> hop in and just kill Echo. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? Echo, <laughs> of, tragedy. Dead. Dead. Echo of tragedy. I'm gonna clarify. I was killing him in the other Minecraft game. I'm gonna hop in. I'm gonna hop in and build a house with Echo, and then we'll play house. 
I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> but what do you mean you didn't make fucking breakfast? <laughs> and then, fuck you. Who's gonna be the homeless bum that builds like a dirt a house dirt on the house. side of a yeah, cabin? Ant, bro, it's literally gonna be <laughs> Ant. It's yeah, it's gonna be Mountain Man. Wait, it fits so well though because he's Ant. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'll come this, this, this is my Ant yeah. Hill. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is my this living is my room, and bathroom, and bed. Uh, oh, now you gave me a brilliant idea. I'm gonna do that. Now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, all right, guys. I think that's what you'll have all for tonight. Wait, you guys. Wait. wait, what? What? Are we gonna adjust or are we gonna address the flatly cheating in Minecraft scandal that might happen Friday? That might. Oh, yes, happen. we will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We, we will. And then we're gonna we're gonna frame you as a a, a pedo uh, as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm yeah, we gotta get on. We gotta get on the fucking pedal grain. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, people have come the Minecraft. Like, You'll <laughs> the... be hacking again. I'm like, okay. Not only uh, will we call, not only will we call you uh, a pedo, but we'll also call you a, ra a rapist without any proof. I want to be a pedo rapist. Dude. I've already got the tweet drafted. It's already drafted. Dude. It's just he waiting tickled for a vote. and bit the part he tickled me on. GBT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit! All right, Echo, you want to do the outro? Oh yeah. Well, that was it for At Least We Tried. If you guys like this episode, uh, leave a like and subscribe to Flatley's channel. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Episode five. Bye. Oh, we didn't do anything cool for episode five. We'll do it for 10. We'll do it for episode <laughs> five. Yeah, next milestone. Yeah.